So here's that minor tuning. This is that Kalimba I just tuned in minor. And um, I... So I showed you a couple of things. I showed you how to do the wah wah. And then I'll show you one other thing. So you hear that vibration? That's coming because it's not a good contact on there. And there's, there's a couple of things you could do. One is, is um, take a screwdriver and try to screw it down a little bit tighter. The other is, is adjust it just a little bit, one side or the other side. For some reason, it, it's not sitting nicely on the top of the bridge there. And when it doesn't sit there, there's a chance for it to vibrate. In this particular one, I did that, and it came out of it. Now I, I tend to do these, if you look at the screw in the middle, I tend to do it so that the, the scale starts on the first, first key to the right of the, of the middle, and then it goes up. Now, what I did here is, and this is something that, it, again, it's all to your matter of taste and what you want to listen to, is, um, so it alternates out. And it goes up the scale by going back and forth. Like that. Back and forth on the scale. One, two, three, four, five. But, I, but as I got up to the top, I didn't have all the notes in there to keep going exactly. Dum -ba -ba. I skipped a note. There should be ba -ba. And I could do that. I, I probably have room to throw another key in there and do it. But I tend to use one, two, three, four, five, six keys on the, on the right-hand side of the of the um, uh, middle screw and six keys on the left hand side. So it's a 12 note. And I tend to do that because it leaves a little bit more room for your fingers to pick it. If you get them too tightly together, and that's one of the things about some of the commercial ones that you buy on, on thing, they, they sound great and they, uh, they have a lot of keys. Sometimes they have as many as 15 keys on it. This is 12 and maybe even more, but, um, if they do, then they're kind of close together and then you really have to, if you're fumble fingered like me and you really have a hard time distinguishing between the notes, it's nice to have a little bit more room in between them. Um, there's two other things I want to show you. One is I showed you the vibrato, but in the pl plucking of it, you can do alternating or you can do it the same time and you want to go for a rhythm try to get a rhythm going with your thumbs and then you can augment the rhythm with the 
wah-wahs on the back and do it more on the back too. That's uh, um, one of the things I wanted to show you. And the other one is you can play it with your fingers like. Kind of like you're typing. And if, you, if you're doing that, um, <laughs> do it as you're looking at it. You put it down on your lap. And you can move your leg up and down and get the effect of the wah-wah. You probably can hear that in there. Um, but that's that's done from hitting the keys like anyway give you something more to think about as far as learning to play and tune a kalimba